Okay, let's do the word chronicle in Descript now. First and foremost, CH, very common combination in English, and there is also a specific Descript attached directly to it, which is this. Long horizontal bar, come back, three quick lines. Uh, it's best if they stay even or if they have some kind of pattern to them, like short, fat, short, or becoming thinner, as long as you can see three lines. And it's best not to lift the pen so that it doesn't pose any threat of ever looking like anything else. There was great care taken in design. It should never be ambiguous, uh, but you never know. Uh, this especially depending on the styles you're using and when you start contorting the words. So, uh, chronicle, the simplest possible combination. T H R O N I C L E. Okay, so we've got chronicle. First of all, uh, let's look at what double letter combinations are important here. Um, the most important that we have to look at is, first of all, I, C. Okay, so we've got I, C. You can connect them directly, like so. Or you can simply add the C dash onto the edge there. That's an I, C. Your word will come into there and continue there. Or you can even potentially continue there. There are some restrictions on using this point, of course, though. But, yes, you can use it. Okay, so now we've got that. What else is there for double combinations that's necessary? Uh, that seems to be about it. Oh, wait, CL. Now, C cannot be on either side of the bar. If you have two Cs, you put them like that. You always have to alternate for the C. Why? Because the T is the double. So if you have C, T, C, C, T, T, etc., you get the idea. You have to alternate when you're using these ones. It doesn't matter which side they go to as long as you don't ever put doubles next to each other. So. The C can actually be there, and the L doesn't matter, as, because it shows on both sides. Uh, there's an abbreviated CL, simply because this one is common. On the word line, you simply draw some, uh, a, an S curve similar like that. You've got your C, and you've got your L. They're kind of connected, but that's one little artistic liberty that's taken. There's very few. This is actually one of the most dramatic artistic liberties taken in the design of these script combinations. Okay, so... Cron... Cool. And as you know, when you have an L, you can continue off of any point you like, or use multiple points. What else could we do? We could also put it there, we could also put it there, we could also put it there. There's a whole bunch of combinations there. Now, let's quickly try to make this look very Chinese by fitting it into a square-like shape that can then be used alongside and with Chinese characters. The, uh, the great thing about Descript is it looks very unique from Chinese. It's almost never at all ambiguous with Chinese, but you can fit it into the same space. So all of a sudden now English words can be turned into a single symbol and used alongside Chinese meanings, which are reduced to a single symbol as well. So let's try to do that here. C, H. This time I've decided to put the, this on the, the right side here, hoping that I'm going to be able to fill the left side, the left side here, hoping I'll be able to fill the right side later. Fran. Now I have to try to fill back over to this side. I've actually made this too long. Okay, I've done a decent job of making it a square-like shape. You can see how it can easily be now con just contorted and squeezed a little bit, and it quickly becomes a perfect square.